So this is a video on how to install Windows 10 on a MacBook. So first we need to download Windows 10 and for that I just went to the bootcamp support page of Apple and click on how to install Windows using bootcamp. First you have to make sure that you have a compatible MacBook. Generally speaking anything which came out after 2012 is usually compatible with Windows and you will need the at least 55 gigabyte of free disk space. You choose Windows 10, click confirm and then select the product language, click confirm and then it will start downloading and then there will be a link to download the file. So in this case you have to choose the 64-bit version. The ISO file is around four and a half gigabyte and depending on your internet speed it may take several hours to download. So I'll get back after finishing downloading the file. Okay so now we can use bootcamp to install Windows. Okay, now we are at step three, open Bootcamp Assistant. And that's under Utilities and Other, and then Bootcamp Assistant. Click Continue and select the ISO image that you just downloaded from the Microsoft website. In this case, it's already selected automatically. And then you can choose the partition size for your Windows installation. So once you created the partition, you cannot change it. So here you can select the size you want to have. So at the moment it's, but I still have 70%, so I'll just continue on battery power. So it says it's downloading Windows support software, so I guess those are the drivers for the MacBook, such as the keyboard driver, the mouse driver, the display driver, the sound, and perhaps the USB connections also takes about 10 minutes. It's now partitioning the disk, and then you have to enter your password to make changes to the disk. And then it's booting up again and it's starting in Windows. I guess this is the Windows setup program. And then just follow the on-screen setup and click next. And then I don't have a product key. And then I'll choose Windows Home, click next. Accept the license agreement, next. And then wait for copying and installing Windows. Okay, so you have to choose the region here and click next. Yes, the keyboard layout I already chose before, but apparently you have to choose again. So click next and it's rebooting again. Okay, the keyboard layout is a bit strange. Okay, let's click next. Oh, security questions. Make Cortana your personal assistant? No. Wow. Okay, and then click accept. I think now Windows is finished installing. We just have to continue setting it up using the bootcamp installer, clicking next. Okay, bootcamp is finished installing the drivers, so I can restart now. Okay, now it seems it's finished installing Windows. All right, it seems everything is working. Oh, so you have to connect to Wi-Fi first. Okay, now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. And I noticed the writing is really, really small. I'm sure you can set the resolution slightly higher or bigger. Let's click on Apple software update. Oh, apparently the Wi-Fi is not working, perhaps. 
Okay, let's see if there's a notepad installed here. Okay, the keyboard this seems to be wrong. Oh, maybe now it's correct. Okay, now I'm connected to the internet, so the software update should work now. In case there's any software update available. Oh, there's a graphics driver update and a Wi-Fi update. Let's install those two. So the main advantage of using Windows is because there's still a lot more software for the PC that require Windows as well as there are more games which are made for Windows. Also you can use a virtual computer like Parallels to install Windows on a Mac. Installing Windows properly on the MacBook will use the complete power of the MacBook itself so it doesn't use the virtual system which won't run as fast as a native install. Anyway the Windows boots up quite quickly. I just don't know how a right click works. Oh there's another graphics update. This one is larger. So let's install that one. Anyway the display is in the correct resolution I think and also the sound works and the mouse works and the backlighting of the keyboard also works. Now I'm trying to find the control panel. This uh, oh this uh, alarm clock now. Oh that's interesting. Like on the iPhone or oh, even a timer. Wow. It's that's new to Windows. I haven't used Windows in a while, so that's a pleasant surprise. Let's make sure the keyboard is correct. I chose apparently one which wasn't correct. So I'm going to remove this one because this one is... Oh, I cannot remove that one for some reason. That's a bit strange. Okay, so I hope now it's the correct keyboard. Oh, this is, seems to be the control panel. So I think you have 30 days time to activate Windows. Windows Home costs, I believe, 120 US dollars. So you can activate it online and use a credit card to purchase. But I'm not sure if it's, I'm going to keep it, so I won't purchase right now. I might be testing it for a while to see how it works and maybe install some software. Okay, it's finished downloading the new graphics driver. Okay, so it seems the installation is complete. So just remember when you install Windows, choose the right keyboard, which is from your laptop. If not, uh, you might have trouble entering your passwords. So now the computer will always start in Windows. So how do you restart Mac OS again? What I noticed is that uh, using the mouse, the direction of the mouse is the opposite as in Mac OS. So if you want to go down in Windows, you have to move your fingers downwards on the trackpad and on Mac OS is the opposite. So to go back into Mac OS, down here in the right corner, there's an icon for Boot Camp and that you can click to restart in Mac OS and also open the Boot Camp control panel. Oh, all right, keyboard. Okay, here you can set the mouse and keyboard. If you want to restart in Mac OS, you have to go down here in the corner Click on the boot camp icon and restart in Mac OS. Could not locate the Mac OS boot volume. Uh, that's not good. Boot volume is not there. How come there's only one disk there? Oh, so apparently during install I chose the Mac partition instead of the, the free Windows partition. How can the Windows installation overwrite the Mac OS partition, that doesn't make any sense. OMG, there's not even a warning sign that not to overwrite the Mac partition. Wow, that was pretty shocking. So remember when you 
set up using bootcamp choose the correct partition with the mouse i really thought bootcamp would automatically choose the non-mac partition but apparently it doesn't so it seems that i overwrote my mac partition and have to reinstall it new oh that will be fun and this is a video on how to install mac os if you don't have any mac os on your hard drive so according to this apple support page you have to press option command r to install the latest mac os version on your macbook so let's try that let's shut down so now i press option command r while rebooting the computer while pressing on power button and i hope this will work because if not i don't know what else to do okay it seems to work so i can choose the network so i enter the password for the wi-fi and now it seems it's going to download the latest mac os version first this may take a while all right so now you can choose the language and then click next you have the option to restore from a time machine backup reinstall mac os get online help or use the disk utility so using the disk utility i can see that the macintosh hd is not mounted why is it not mounted okay so it's still there because that means when i reboot the computer it will be available again of course i want to use macintosh hd to start up so i click restart oh okay phew so my mac installation finally didn't got deleted just a partition was unmounted that's why it didn't restart the mac operating system again so if you want to switch between the partitions you have to press and hold command r for recovery while you press on the power button like that you will come into the mac utilities and then you can select which partition to boot to start up from and then you restart and the computer will boot up in that operating system weirdly it takes a bit a long time to start the operating system but it finally achieves its goal all right so i didn't delete it my mac partition everything is still there so as we can see we have two partitions one the mac Kintosh HD and the other one bootcamp with windows on it so to restart under windows again you have to restart bootcamp which is under other and then bootcamp assistant mm, no i think you have to use the disk utility okay so step number six after installing both windows and windows support software you can switch back to mac os using bootcamp system tray item in windows select the mac os volume then restart your mac to switch from mac os to windows use the start up disk preference pane oh okay where is that and you also can hold down the option key after restarting your mac to choose between mac os and windows so the option key okay let's use this go to the apple menu and then system preference and then start up disk oh here you can choose oh you have to click on the lock icon to choose which partition to start up from okay so let's restart in windows bootcamp to see if it works okay so now we are in windows let's try again to restart in mac os we go on the right hand corner and click on the up arrow and then choose the bootcamp icon and then restart in mac os 
and then click OK. OK, they could not locate the Mac OS boot volume. Oh, I see. So when you start in Windows, it cannot see the Mac OS boot volume, perhaps because it uses the APFS file system. It's the new Mac OS file system, which is probably not recognized by the bootcamp software and also Windows. Therefore, the partition doesn't appear in the bootcamp control panel. So let's try the option key again, but I think it won't work. But let's try anyway. If the option key doesn't work, we'll try the command R option. Oh, it does work. Oh, great. So when the Windows restarts, you have to hold down the option key and then there will be two icons of hard disk showing up with Windows and with Macintosh. So that will let you choose which partition to start. So the bootcamp icon on the right corner doesn't work. You have to use the option key when restarting your computer. Alright, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any comments, make sure you post them below this video.